having this light pop up while you're driving will ruin everybody's day. I'm going to show you how you can save thousands just by buying something simple and small like this. If you're a car guy or a car girl, stay tuned. You want to watch this video to the end. Let's get started. So how does this thing save you money? Well, the only guy that benefits from you having a check engine light is your mechanic. And they will take advantage of that. So this will save you money by checking your own fault codes by yourself using a simple device that everybody has and you just have to buy something very small very inexpensive so i've got two options for you so check this out the first option and something i don't use a lot is basically a very small scanner like this this is handy it's small it's very inexpensive it costs a few bucks and you can literally just throw it in your cubby hole and just lays there what makes this nice is it's very fast and if anybody comes to you and say listen I've got a check engine light you can just plug it in and check it for them and even clear it for them I've done this many times I'll put a link down in the description down below and I'll show you guys quickly how this one works so first off you want to find your OBD2 port where this will plug in the port looks something like this right so then we plug it in. You want to put your ignition on the two position. Not starting, just on the on position. Okay, so we plug this into the Ford Ranger. And I know this vehicle doesn't have any codes. I don't actually have a vehicle with any codes at the moment. So we just go into the menu, diagnostics. When you use this tool, make sure that your ignition is on the number two position. So we're going to read codes. Like I said, I know for sure that there is no codes on this. So it's all clear. If you do have any codes, then you can just go to race codes. Easy like that. We have live data feed, which you can monitor if there's any faults. And if you're a bit tech savvy, then you know how to use that. So basically, this is a very cheap, inexpensive tool just for code reading and it makes your life a little bit easier knowing what's going on with your car so now i'll show you guys the one that i use the most the one that i love and you can basically use your smartphone your tablet everything else that's got android or ios and you can basically link your dongle to that this is called the elm327 this basically just reads the GAN bus and the LIN bus and it sends a Bluetooth signal to your phone and the app does the rest so let me guys show you how cool this is because this tool is very powerful and I love it you don't need an hotel or any expensive diagnostics tools to do the basic stuff yes I do have expensive diagnostic tools but I rarely use it. It's just laying there collecting dust. So let me show you guys how this one works. We will be doing the same thing. We'll plug this dongle into our OBD2 port. Yours might be located in a different area. We switch on ignition onto number two position, number two. Then I'll be using my tablet and I'll go to talk pro app. All of this will be down in the description. So from here on, I'll do a screenshot on this and you guys can see clearly what's happening. Okay, so this is Talk Pro. And I'm going to show you what you can expect out of it. So first off, we'll have to make sure that Talk Pro is connected to our ELM327 Bluetooth device before we can go on from there. And then we'll go into fault codes and we'll start scanning for fault codes. So this might take a while, I oh, did speed it up a bit here. So as expected, uh, we have no full codes at the moment. So then we can go into real-time information and this is where stuff really gets cool. So we've got a few options there, a few screens, you can add displays. Let me just show you what type of options you've got. You've got a dial needle display and you can just work through the list. So everything that's marked in green is what's available through the ACM to Talk Pro, which it can monitor a lot of variables and this is quite intense and gets complicated at times, but 
it's pretty cool to have and to know and as you learn your car and you learn engines and you learn basically everything about talk pro more details that you see there becomes relevant to what you want to know for the future so this is quite nice to have uh, if we move on you can you've got a few screens as you're available to do that and for the guys there's like 0 to 60 0 quarter mile times i've tested this before it's not too accurate but it's close enough to measure yourself against something without going to yeah to keep it safe rather <laughs> go to tracks <laughs> but anyways so let's start the engine and then you'll see some of the dials starts moving so there you can see we are the rpms have measured we've got throttle now we have a few variables on the basic display you you can set up the display for yourself as you want it eventually um you can see the photo response on the refs there it worked very well again let's go let's add a display and on the ford rangers there is actually one thing that is kind of an issue um, there you can see your mass airflow sensors the details that you want to know from that as it's running so this thing actually is live data from the ECM right now they can see the f if we've got a fuel tank um, full fuel tank um, and then the EGR valve is normally an issue on this so if you go to EGR error and you see that the latest value is 0% you know at least there's nothing wrong with it but let's say you do suspect something you can just click on it make I made it a large and then if you start moving and start driving the vehicle there it will show maybe like a few errors or something if there's anything to suspect from your EGR this range has still got low mileage on it so I don't suspect any EGR value faults as yet so basically this is just it um, very nice and powerful app go check it out I'll put the link down in the description okay guys so that's just the basic of this app I can spend hours on it so what also makes this very nice is that if you are looking to buy a used car and you go to dealership, they disconnect the batteries and that takes the engine light off. Well, for the time being until it pops on again, because you don't know. But they don't clear codes. So you can go to your dealership, you plug this in and you run your, your Talk Pro app and then you can look for codes that has been stored on the ECU or you can even check when last was it cleared so that you know hmm, maybe something was wrong with this car maybe you need to investigate a little bit more it helps a lot to just have this you can have it on your let me just get my smartphone out you can have it on your phone you can have it on you can just carry that little dongle I'll put an Amazon link down below and yes I am affiliated with Amazon so I do get a tiny 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 commission on that which I just revert back to gift cards so I can buy more stuff and do more reviews back onto what Amazon's actually doing. Still costing me money, but hey, mm, I'm doing it for for the for you guys. So yes, anyways, um that's how simple this is, and I think every car guy, every car girl, even if you are not into cars that much, and this is just a little bit of a nice to have peace of mind type of thing to have go buy one go buy your dongle on Amazon or wherever there's many people selling it make sure you don't buy Chinese knockoffs because that does also happen and they don't work as nice so just a side note as well every car is different every car has its own type of ECUs and difficulties on how to basically get into the ECU data like for instance the Jeep WJ you can't use the Opera app you have to use WJ Dioc which is also a free app that I'll show it to you guys later on when we get feedback eventually on that Jeep uh, Mercedes and BMW also have their own which is called Carly which is also a paid for app very nice app very powerful you can do a lot on it well unless you don't have any of those expensive cars <laughs> those german cars 
Talk Pro is perfect and it's very inexpensive and it's a one-time payment only of literally a few cents. So guys, that's basically it from me. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Keep safe. Jazz.